talking about the Owl Camp that was here June 22nd through 25th. Um, it is ran by an organization called New View Oklahoma. They are an organization that works with kids and teenagers with uh, severe sight disorders, some all the way up to completely blind. They contacted us. They were wanting to do a retreat weekend with the kids up at Grand Lake and wanted some input from us and possibly any uh, assistance that we could provide. So naturally, um, with the organization doing what they're doing, it was a great opportunity for us to jump in and help them out as much as we can. We actually um, got a great sponsorship from Littlefield's uh, Bait and Tackle. They gave us some rods and reels as well as the bait for the kids. And um, each kid comes with a, uh, has a chaperone with them that helps them get around for uh, site purposes. We took them fishing all Tuesday morning on the uh, courtesy dock below the ecosystems building. The kids were down, they got a chance to fish and catch quite a few. We probably caught uh, 15 perch, a couple drum, and a couple catfish actually. And each kid got to experience what it was like to go fishing and the feel of having a fish on the end of the, on the, end of the line reeling in. And uh, we aided in taking the fish off for them. Um, they thoroughly enjoyed the experience and uh, seemed like a really good deal. So after we took them fishing, we decided to load everyone up in uh, patrol boats, uh, about six, uh, six of their members per boat, and we took them all to Harbors View Marina for lunch. Um, kind of gave them a little uh, ride around the lake, kind of took the long way, if you will, and got let them experience uh, driving down the lake in a boat. And for those of us who do it every day, and those of us who have the, that are blessed enough to be able to go out on the boat all the time, it's just it's a normal experience. You know, obviously it's enjoyable. What I didn't realize is that because of the loss of sight, the amount of sensory um, overload that these people were getting was amazing. They were just ecstatic about the boat ride. For me and you know, for the normal person, it's just driving down the lake, watching where you're going. For them, they can't see where they're going. So every little turn, every speed change, uh, even the wind blowing uh, through their hair was a complete uh, sensory experience for them. So it was a it was really interesting to see a different take on a boat ride. We went to Harbors View, enjoyed lunch, and um, sat underneath the porch, and then we gave them a ride back to the eco building in the patrol boat. And uh, even when actually were asked by a lot of the kids to go faster, um, I think we went close to 50 miles an hour in the boats uh, with the kids, and they said it was one of the most awesome experiences they'd ever had. So it was a really neat deal for them. Uh, once we got back, we unloaded, I came up to the eco building and let everybody kind of cool off. Like I said, it was humid and about 94 degrees that day. So we let everybody cool off a little bit. And then we went into the grand hall and had the opportunity for GRDA to give presentations to the entire organization. So we spoke about the history of the lake, the history of the dam. We kind of just explained who we are, what we do. I gave them an entire description of how the lake system works, how the hydro dams work, and uh, just kind of give them an overview of exactly what GRDA is and what we do. And we had uh, one of the tour guides from the dam, Mr. Jaggers, come down and give a presentation on a more in-depth history of the dam. Fantastic speaker, great with kids, they thoroughly enjoyed it. We also did a uh, presentation with the ecosystems department. They came in and brought a lot of the stuff that they use for water quality testing, scientific testing and stuff. And during their presentation, they passed around stuff. So these kids that, like we said, have uh, severe sight disorders could actually touch and feel a lot of the stuff that they use on a daily basis in the ecosystem lab. Very highly voiced by multiple of the kids that, uh, about how much they love science and how interesting it was. So that was a really good experience for them. And they, the entire organization actually discussed how much they enjoyed the, uh, the presentation brought on by the ecosystem department. Our camp has actually been around 16 years. Um, we've actually held the camp in Oklahoma City and around the state. This is our first year actually in uh, the Tulsa area or northeastern Oklahoma to actually have a camp for these kids. Uh, the camp itself, uh, we don't charge for the camp. We actually uh, raise the money starting today for next year's camp. So uh, but this is the first time in this part of the state for these kids. UV Oklahoma is a nonprofit that has been around over 65 years in the state of Oklahoma that provides um, employment training as well as rehabilitation to those who struggle with visual impairments. 
We have a huge um, pediatric program as well, and a youth program, which is what Al Camp is all about. And that's why we're here at Brand Lake, uh, actually working with our youth to uh, teach them what it's like to uh, be independent. Uh, a lot of these campers uh, experience vision loss at birth and uh, grow up with a, just a lot of struggles. Uh, the expectations are the same as uh, their peers. Uh, in school, they have to do the same amount of schoolwork. Uh, they do get some accommodations, but it's just a, a great struggle, especially as you enter into uh, becoming a teenager. And so, uh, and we also have a lot of kids who lose their vision as they become a teenager. And so, uh, it is a struggle for them to transition and to find the support that they need. Another huge struggle is uh, kids with visual impairments just aren't provided the opportunities that you and I are provided. Um, when we started a camp for water skiing, we were told we were crazy. Um, but the kids have had a fabulous time and had success. Now, this is the first time we brought our uh, campers to a lake uh, for them to have a water experience and experience different water sports and adaptive water skiing, uh, which really the program, that program in particular doesn't exist in our state. So we're very excited to actually uh, get them up on the water. Oh my goodness, the reactions of the campers have been phenomenal. Uh, the kids, when they came to camp, uh, they had the expectation that they weren't going to be provided a lot of uh, freedom. And so uh, they actually live in individual cabins. Um, they help us cook. They help us uh, do everything at camp. And so they've uh, commented to me time and time again that, wow, we get to just be normal. And so first and foremost, that's exciting. The fact that we're actually putting them out on water um, in this environment, uh, they, they just have been blown away by the experience. Um, probably not a half as much as the, uh, the staff have. Uh, it's been a great experience for them. The staff actually were hand-picked. So this camp has been around 16 years. I was able to actually hand-pick what I considered our top counselors for this particular uh, camp. So we, we put safety at the top of our list and uh, the counselors volunteer uh, a week of their time to come out here and uh, just to to be with the kids, to hang with them, and make sure they have a positive experience. I like that there are kids here that have the same visual impairments that I do, and you can relate to other kids. It's nice. Yesterday, we got out there. I was a little bit scared at first, but I did it. But it took three or four tries before I got halfway up. And then today, I got up on my first try and skied for a little bit before I fell. It felt really good to be able to do that. My favorite thing has been making new friends and coming to the lake and just hanging out. I got up the like, first time on my third try. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I just hang in there for two seconds and I would let go and fell back in the water. Felt good though. I went tubing. I liked it better. They went fast. They went fast a little bit and then they slowed down, like once we got on the waves. It's been a really great experience for me. It showed me that there are people out here that understand what I'm going through. So it makes you feel less alone. <laughs> And it was just an overwhelming amount of good feedback from the people that were involved. Um, everybody was really excited to do it. Um, really excited to help. It's you know it's for such a good cause. Um, and we had people from you know Chief Edwards and the law enforcement uh, posting on Facebook and sending out text messages to friends and stuff, talking about what they were doing and how excited they were and what a great deal it was to be helping these kids and the organization. Um, Myself, uh, Miss Jaggers, and Miss Flood were actually discussing that's probably one of the most feel good and coolest things that we've had the opportunity to be involved with since working here. Um, it's just a really, really neat organization. And the thing that really got me the most about it was just the mere and simple fact that these kids have pretty much lived their entire life with someone, be it you know, family, friend, and mostly doctors telling them that there's things in life that they're not going to be able to do and not be able to experience. So the entire trip of the, uh, you know, the owl camp was basically a defiance. Like, no one tells me that I can't do anything and just because I have some sort of disabilities isn't going to, you know, keep me from enjoying what's available in life. So, you know, I mean, most people think you know, blind people should stay away from the water. You know, the fear of drowning you know, what are you going to experience if you can't see it? You know, everybody talks about the lake's beauty, but um, it's not just seeing stuff that makes the lake enjoyable. So it was, it was really nice to be involved with an organization that basically said, no one's going to tell us that we can't enjoy something, and we have our own way of enjoying it. And it was just a wonderful experience for everybody involved. 
the, the people who were involved in camp and everyone that was involved with GRDA. I think everyone would agree that it was probably one of the best uh, events that we've helped with, uh, with the organization, for sure, and being involved with.